welcome back welcome back and again courtesy of mount kenya we we say thank you by the way karibu ni sana mount kenya ana sasa tumekuwa tunajua ni kweli eh so mm. whenever again you need screening na ni nini nyingine tunawapea huko services services zetu ni mingi ni mingi sana we offer uh, management of high blood pressure mm -hmm. tuko na management ya blood sugar mm -hmm. We have uh, heart specialists, those doctors who are called cardiologists, mm -hmm. both our toto mm -hmm. and our zimba. Mm -hmm. We have cancer doctors, mm -hmm. those doctors who are called oncologists. Mm -hmm. uh, we also are introducing a gastroenterologist, we only Dr. Watumbo. And soon we'll be even having Dr. wa kidney. Wow. We'll be having all these conditions that uh, so that people don't have to travel from this region <laughs> to go and seek services in yes, Nairobi so and Nairobi any and other just here. Yeah, big cities. So mm -hmm. uh, Embu is also a big city mm -hmm. and we are making it even bigger. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also offer heart tests. Mm -hmm. Uh, the first one called an ECG. Mm -hmm. We also offer another one called an echocardiogram. Mm -hmm. Those ones we do them on a daily basis. On a daily basis. Yes, mm -hmm. we have a lab and we also have a pharmacy. Oh. So we are, we say all under one roof, like Nakumat used to say. <laughs> <laughs> so services to tapot na yes. yes, and I promise to kuja kwa ngaliwa we mend hard breaks ah. also you mend hard <laughs> 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 that is nice in case uko na hard break uka unaweza kuja pa we have you as you have heart yes it's also a, a disease and a heart problem yeah, actually it is mm -hmm. uh, because people Actually, there is a heart condition that comes due to stress, especially in ladies. In fact, yesterday in one of our groups uh, of doctors who check hearts, mm -hmm. we had someone send us that condition. He had seen a 34-year-old lady uh -huh. in a hospital and she had that condition. Hey. Mostly comes because of heartbreak and comes because of stress. Wow, yes. I think we have our next topic on the next program because we are not going to take our audience yet on a curious. So, back mm -hmm. to the question, yes. Dr. Yes. Uh, the symptoms, yes. do they have to be detected in the hospital or do they have physical appearances? Uh, okay, mostly yes, but mm -hmm. by that time, eh? mm -hmm. Uh, you are, diabetes is too pronounced. Mm. So the first thing we advise people is to have their checkups. Mm -hmm. Even if it's annual checkup, mm -hmm. have your blood uh, sugar checked. Mm -hmm. Number two, mm -hmm. yes, you can uh, be able to detect symptoms. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of the symptoms, mm -hmm. uh, they are called the three Ps. Mm. Uh, polyuria, polydipsia, polyphagia. That means polyuria ni mtu ana kujua mara mingi sana. Poli hiyo ingine ni mtu ana kunywa maji sana. So unakojoa na unakunywa maji unasikia kiu sana and then you are eating a lot yet you are not gaining weight. Okay noted. I need a screening after this <laughs> mm -hmm. yes so those three are classical symptoms of blood sugar, blood sugar. yes we so if i if at all i notice ama ni ni jua ni kona hizi symptoms i should immediately you should immediately sugar. seek uh, medical attention, attention. Mm -hmm. yeah because you could be having diabetes okay yes now after maybe i have had a screening and i have been checked is it curable? Am I, I have to control it. Uh, we like telling people that you have to control it. Mm -hmm. And you have to control it for the rest of your life. Hey. Using medication. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't like saying curable, mm -hmm. but it is reversible. Reversible. Yes. Okay. There are people who we know with a strict diet, mm -hmm. very, very strict diet, mm -hmm. they are able to reverse. reverse. Especially, 
that is for type 2 type not type 1 mm -hmm. as i said type 1 the factory is gone and so you have to use insulin mm -hmm. but for type 2 with very very strict diet mm -hmm. and that's why uh, we don't like telling people that it's curable because we'll be lying mm -hmm. even those people whose diabetes is reversed mm -hmm. If they go back to their lifestyle, they have their previous lifestyle, it will come back. Oh. And as I said, it's a very, 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 very strict diet. Mm -hmm. Extremely strict. Oh. So you need a lot of discipline. So if you can't do it, mm -hmm. then you have to be on medication. Your entire life? Yes. So um, sometimes, I usually see, most of the times, actually, neither aged, they have a machine that they use. Kupima. Yes. What is that for? Ama what is it called? Uh, it's a it's a blood sugar machine. Mm -hmm. uh, it's available in everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's something. It's a very uh, easy machine to use because you just prick yourself, mm -hmm. and then you put uh, blood on the on the strip on a strip mm -hmm. that is attached to the machine, mm -hmm. and within about ten seconds, it's able to give you uh, your blood sugar level. So I don't have to carry it around? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's something that you don't even have to do it every day. Mm. Yeah. So it's easier, maybe in a particular clinic. But sometimes we, are, we do encourage people, if, because they are not expensive, eh? mm -hmm. and it's something like affordable, mm -hmm. to have it at home. Mm -hmm. Even for blood pressure machine nowadays, we are really encouraging people mm -hmm. not only to rely on the clinic blood pressure mm -hmm. or clinic blood sugar, mm -hmm. but we also want to see how they are doing at home. Oh, okay. Yeah. I also noted some yes. other time yes. on pregnant women. This kitu imetokea. I have never seen it before. I kuwa before, but recently in eko kwa mkono. Then after some time unatoa. Is it used to be a regulate blood sugar? Uh. As I say, the pregnant women can uh, get uh, blood sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, what I say is called gestational. That's another type of uh, mm. blood sugar. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, whenever a lady gets pregnant, mm -hmm. uh, they are checked for blood sugar mm -hmm. as one of the tests. Mm -hmm. And mostly once they give birth, mm -hmm. the diabetes tends to regress. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. these are people who are at a very high risk of mm -hmm. diabetes coming later on in their life. Mm -hmm. Even even or when they get another pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, these are people who need to be followed up very, very closely mm -hmm. because uh, the risk of getting blood pressure, mm -hmm. I mean blood sugar, uh, is very high. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. After they give birth, yes. can diabetes be passed down to an infant? Um, yes, it, is, it, is, it is possible. Mm -hmm. Especially what happens is the babies tend to be quite big and they can be an issue. Mm -hmm. But uh, it cannot like be passed down to the baby like just like that. Mm -hmm. The baby is born with diabetes, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unless it's th those types that I said, but they will occur later on. Later in life. Yeah, later in life, in a younger, when they are a bit older. So uh, um, approximately at what age is, is someone at risk of visible diabetes? Mm, for type 1, it, it does occur from... Uh, from infancy going on, mm -hmm. so it depends on the time or the the individual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's it's you can't tell exactly at the what time or what age, mm -hmm. but for those people with type one, mm -hmm. they will tend to have those symptoms we discussed mm. early in life. So they, whenever even if it's a child, a young person. They get those symptoms, they are going to the loo many times, mm -hmm. they are getting thirsty a lot, and they are eating a lot, yet they are not uh, adding weight, mm -hmm. then that is a red flag. It's a red flag. Yes. Okay, when one comes to your clinic, yes. can you give us a brief proce of the procedure that takes place before I even get my results back? Okay. Uh, once you come, uh, definitely uh, we'll start with taking what we call uh, triage where we take your weight, height, BMI, blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Then you will get into the doctor's room mm -hmm. 
and then we'll take a history. Mm -hmm. Once we take a history, then we will suspect maybe you have diabetes. Okay. Uh, we can do that, that I call the random blood sugar, mm -hmm. that will give us an idea. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we can also do a fasting blood sugar. Mm -hmm. But there is another test that is very, very important mm -hmm. that checks the sugar control in your blood stream okay. for three months. Mm -hmm. So it's called a HbA1c. Mm -hmm. That's another test that I would be very interested to check. Oh. So once uh, we check those and we see the numbers are abnormal, mm -hmm. then we'll have to start management, okay. which will include diet, mm -hmm. lifestyle modification, yes. and then uh, from those two, mm -hmm. uh, the medication comes in. Oh. Yeah, and a lot of counseling, mm -hmm. because this is a chronic disease, yes. So this is something that someone needs to understand that they will be on medication for a long time. Yeah, so it's important for all of us, mm -hmm. not just the patient, even as a family, mm -hmm. you need to encourage your, you know, your kin mm -hmm. and, you know, tell them that it is for their own good. Mm -hmm. Because some people tend to stop medication and then when you stop medication, actually as last time when we were talking about high blood pressure, mm -hmm. we are not treating these conditions so that they can go away or so that they can be cured. We treat them so that you don't get complications mm -hmm. that come with it. Yes. Mm -hmm. So diabetes is also very notorious, mm -hmm. causes stroke, mm -hmm. causes heart disease. Mm -hmm causes kidney failure, mm -hmm. uh, loss of eyesight, mm -hmm. uh, even uh, amputation mm -hmm. in some cases. So that's what we want to prevent. Okay. So that's why counseling is very, very important mm -hmm. because this condition, most of the time, they don't have any pain. Mm -hmm. You'll find that because they, are, they occur in older generation and these are people who might be having arthritis or something like that, mm -hmm the patient is more concerned about their arthritis because it is causing pain the other than so we need to be very very informed about that because actually for me i'm very particular about counseling mm -hmm. and about people or patients knowing the information and why they are on medication okay. because you don't want to be paralyzed you don't want to get a stroke you don't want to have kidney failure whereby you are going to be on dialysis eh? or you have a heart attack mm -hmm. or you lose your eyesight or you lose your limb, you lose your leg over something that could have been prevented. prevented. Yes. Well, thank you very much. That was very, very informative. I am sure at audience, they were keen in listening to this. I Again, thank so. you very much. Karibuni sana. Cancer Center. Mm -hmm. We enjoyed the session and I hope we will be coming for more. That is our Definitely. <laughs> Definitely we shall. So thank you very much. Again, this is the Health Hub Show. I am your host, Nyambura Kamau.